All right, this is Carlos. This is my last video of the day. I promise. That's a promise to myself too that I'd like to keep um, doing the video upways. So actually, it's easier to hold. So I'm gonna stick with this. Um, so yeah, there's. Uh, it's funny because right as I'm saying this, I hear something now. Yeah. There's very little traffic on this road. Um, and it's one of the nicest places that I've been so far as far as uh, in Ocean County as far as not hearing anything, not hearing the noise, the daily humdrum of suburbia. But um, I'm close to, uh, I believe the high school or some kind of school is down if I keep going, Hawks Trail. But at first I saw that, I was thinking back to the article which I posted, oh shoot, did I post it? I don't know. I might have to edit the video title. But anyways, there was a vi um, a article that I read recently about that the mayor Palmer rejected a proposal deal to um, I think it's not Kehovanian, but one of the developer companies that's related to them. They are, they have all these different names. They want to basically develop. Um, Manchester by adding originally it was 6,500 homes and a bunch of commercial space space now they've said 4,000 homes in commercial space and the mayor Palmer you know he's I don't know what kind of politician he is but it seems like he bows to pressure sometimes too but he has stood his ground saying that's still too large but I think eventually they're gonna say a number and he's gonna just wear down and agree unless Manchester residents say, no, we don't want more development here. Um, let's protect this land. Right now, the land that they're proposing to build it on is a former mineral quarry. So it's not, you know, pristine land that um, was the best taken care of. But, oh, and I want to point out, it's in this, it's in this direction. So it's somewhere out there. It's Crystal Lake. And I believe that's one of the two lakes. The article mentioned two lakes, and I saw four lakes, but I think Crystal Lake is one of the two that are artificial. So if you go far enough, um, man, these cars are coming by now all of a sudden. They're ruining my video, or what I said about it. But basically, that's been, I walked the whole length and I saw one car, so, and I'm not walking any further because I have to backtrack the whole way. Um, sorry, I digressed. Uh, what was I saying? All right, think. Think, Carlos. Think, think, think. Ah, so much information. Um, hopefully, I did post the article, though. You can read that. But my feeling is, is that even though it's a quarry and they're saying, oh, it could be a site that could be improved. I'm going to start walking back, actually. Um, even though it could be improved, or it, it could be just left to nature, I feel like the best healers, the best are not engineers or humans that try to play around with land and somehow make it better, but the best uh, the, the best hands to put it in aren't hands at all, but are just like the natural system. Um, whatever the environmental disaster is, uh, there are ways, especially in the soil, especially when fungi get a hold of an area that they really, whether it's, I think there was mention of petroleum, like that's really no big deal if you give it enough time. Nature will start to thrive and fix the area. I don't know if that's the case with like nuclear disasters, but with anything else, um, the toxins get bound up and become inert, um, as far as what I've learned. So anyways, my vote, which I don't really have a vote in this situation, but I'm still going to say what I'm going to say, um, is that there not be development, that if developers really want to um, continue their business and stop being what I see as a cancer of the planet spreading suburbia. Um, I think the best thing they can do is buy up vacant lots that are already have houses on them and re to be rebuilt in urban areas or um, other areas that are older houses. Of course, there's not as much profit, but there's going to be no profit if we the people stand up and say you're not putting this here, 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 or anywhere in New Jersey. Um, you've gone way too far. You should have retired a long time ago. You developers are filthy rich. You throw up shoddy construction and you ruin ecosystems. So if we all get up together and say that to these developers, 
then it won't be profitable for them. And then they'll be forced to do either to go out of business or to do things that are actually reasonable, which are tearing down old houses that um, are a problem, maybe installing new pipes that don't have lead in them. That's a problem with the water I drink. We always run the water because there's old lead pipes. There's lots of things that, um, that are honest ways to earn money, but these developing companies um, are not at all honest. They just want to make as much money, cut and run. Um, and this is something I want to say about Ocean County in general. From what I learned, and I'm reiterating a point I made earlier on some kind of video, I don't remember. Um, but I learned from the head freeholder last week and from somebody else that Ocean County is the quickest growing, I think it in, means in terms of population, county in New Jersey. And New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country. Um, both of those, some people take pride in. I do not take pride in that. And I, if I was in Ocean County, I would not be happy that you're the quickest growing. It looks good on numbers as far as economics, but quite often economics, what, what is good economically is bad in many other ways, uh, ecologically. And ultimately, it's the ecosystem that keeps us alive, not the economy. The economy is this fictitious thing where we talk about it always growing and growing, but really um, the size of the earth is the same. I don't see anything growing as far as more quantities. We're just getting better at digging stuff up out of the ground that's finite. We're not gonna, it's not gonna be there forever. So economic growth really could be um, drawn akin to a tumor. So it's not something to be excited about Ocean County being the fastest growing county, I, I can't remember exactly, but it seemed that the Freeld or was touting it as something good. Uh, I think he's sorely mistaken on that and a number of other things, including that the SRL pipeline is a good idea. And he's believing the lie that it's to help out this military base that's not far from where I am right now. Um, you're very welcome, Derek Bud. by the way. I don't know if you're still watching, but... Um, yeah, so this land is, I'm not sure exactly where the boundaries start that the building, if the proposed building would take place, but there's also commercial ideas. And once, once they start cutting, um, everything really is threatened. So it's not a matter of when, it's a matter of if. We need to stop it. Um, at any point, we can choose the future, but I say we choose now. We stop this reckless development that's, handing our kids a bunch of concrete and pavement and houses that aren't well built that aren't going to be able to sustain life. These houses are going to do nothing to curtail our addiction to food from uh, California or addiction to oil or natural gas. And I end with natural gas because I want to make one other point. A possibility that was actually floated last week by um, at least a few people I talked to is that this pipeline is ending here and 4,000 residencies, which is, a, I'm guessing, close to 10,000 people because it's two and a half people uh, per each or something like that. Um, they're going to need natural gas and maybe uh, uh, quite a bit of it. And maybe this uh, is to the pipeline is to somehow going to uh, go to them. But I still think that export is the ultimate destination for a lot of the fracked gas. Um, to offshore, somewhere offshores. But anyways, um, yeah, we, uh, this, these things have to be stopped. They're not clearly explained. Um, the impacts are, be, are belittled, I guess is the right word. And New Jersey's already crowded enough. We don't need to keep adding on. Um, I think people would be better off developing, redeveloping areas that are already quote unquote, suburban wise developed and make them more efficient and able to house more people. Yes, there's not as much profit, but like I said, if we could make it impossible for any new developments to happen, there's gonna be no profit in that. And they're gonna, developers, if they want a job, they're gonna have to do that kind of work, which is really the way to go. Um, what is it, the walkable towns, walkable cities movement, new urbanism. Um, that's, I'm sure, many, many, from what I've seen, many, many degrees more responsible. There's a lot of bugs out here. Um, day.
Get out of here. Um, yeah, oh, you know what? Let me add myself. I'm going to do this as like a test. And I liked your comment. So yeah, I've been walking all this way. Still not to Route 37. Um, which is good. That shows how long this road is. Why can't I find where I want to go? That's interesting. That doesn't work. Acid. Yeah, maybe I should do all my stuff in acid, because that's what it'll be like if we're polluted. Alright, right, let me put it back on no, no filter. Um, sorry, now I'm just playing around. But, um, it's for future video goodness. So just deal with it. do it before when I had it uh, horizontal ways. Alright. It's telling me I'm not allowed to do things. Alright. I guess I'm not going to be able to do it now. Shucks. Alright. So this is Carlos Carlos. Uh, once again, um, the Hobson company wants to build 4,000 homes around here, a little ways down that road um, and off to that direction. There's a lake called Crystal Lake. I'm in Manchester. I believe the population's somewhere between 25 and 40,000 people, maybe up to 50,000. This would add a whole nother town almost, the size of the town that I'm in. If, if it was built, it'd, it'd have 10,000 more people here. Um, if this isn't built, those people are still going to have a place to live. So it's not like, I, I think, I don't know if developers ever make that kind of argument. But, um, you know, things will work out. And there's much better ways to do this. This is reckless, rapid pace development that's just uh, digging the hole for all of us, New Jersey-wide, countrywide, worldwide, a lot deeper, a lot narrower. So it's going to cave in on us. I don't like saying we're falling off a cliff because that presumes that we're really high up. I don't think we're high up at all. I think we're at a low point um, going lower and the walls are getting close to caving in and we don't realize how far down we, we are because we just keep looking down and digging deeper. So we've been digging a very, very deep hole for ourselves and at some point the walls are going to cave in. I'm gonna end with a metaphor, I like metaphors. All right, bye everybody.